What is up today, guys? We are just doing a meal prep today. You're not going to the store or anything with me. I'm just gonna go ahead and list exactly what you need. And uh, so for right now, what we're making is a creamy Cajun pasta meal, okay? It's gonna be delicious uh, at the end. And this is all you need to be able to cook this. And this is probably the best part about this is all you need, one pan for everything else. All right, now you'll notice that I have two pans and that's because I'm going to be making, you know, like four pounds as opposed to probably one pound. One pound of chicken will be enough to feed you for, for the full five days, at least for lunch only. Everything that I list in this video for the Cajun seasoning and everything, it's all going to be specific for you guys for the one pound of chicken. All right, so what you're gonna need is salt, pepper. You're gonna need one fourth teaspoon. Okay, garlic powder, you're going to need a half teaspoon. Smoked paprika, you're gonna need two teaspoons. Thyme, you're gonna need one teaspoon. Onion powder, you need a half teaspoon. Cayenne pepper, you need a quarter of a teaspoon. And oregano, you need one teaspoon. So once we get that all in one bowl, and mix it together, it should look something like this. This is gonna look a lot, I'm gonna have a lot more in mind than you're gonna have in yours, okay? But that should be plenty. Now what we're gonna do is we need one onion, okay? And we're gonna start chopping that up right now. And you wanna mince it, all right? And uh, mama ain't raised no little um, So I'm going to chop this up without crying because I'm a total man. And Yep, there come the tears, just like I thought. Because, uh, you know, it's just so sad. Everything's very sad right now. All right? This is what it should look like when you're done mincing an entire onion. Oh my gosh, that really is messing with my eyes though. You got your Cajun seasoning done, and you got your onions done. You're gonna need three green onions. Uh, you chop those bad boys up just like you did the onion, and you're on your way. And then we're gonna start chopping up our chicken. When you're chopping your chicken, you want to make sure to put it into one inch cubes, okay? So what I like to do is just go like this. That's about how much wow. you want your chicken to be. Like, you don't want any bigger than that. Right there is a, a really good piece. If you followed along to the T, you should have your chopped up onions, your chopped up green onions, your chopped up chicken, and your spices. All we're going to do now, spices directly onto the chicken. Mm-mm, girl, mm-mm. And now, we're going to mix that up real good to get to Flavor Town, baby. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to add some butter and some olive oil to these pans. All right, and you wanna get them nice and hot. Give those a nice little mix. All right, so everything's nice and hot. Nice, hot, and bothered. Now we're gonna add the chicken in. Just take your chicken, girl. And now all we have to do is let these cook, let each side get a little bit browned, and then we're gonna start adding more stuff. We're gonna go ahead and add our yellow onion to this, okay? And what you're gonna wanna do is let these get nice and softened, okay? So we're gonna add our pasta, our fire-roasted tomatoes, and our chicken broth. Okay, you need two cups of chicken broth, one can of fire roasted uh, tomatoes for each one for me. All right, and then as much pasta as you want. So here we go. We're gonna go ahead and add this with the juices, don't worry. I'm gonna add our pasta. All right, now we're gonna stir everything. What you wanna do is you wanna turn it up to high. So turn each one up to high and you wanna get them both going at a rolling boil. As soon as they get to a rolling boil, cover them up and let them simmer. You see everything kind of doing a rolling boil, then you wanna turn it down to medium high heat, and you just wanna let it simmer for a long time until those noodles are nice and tender. So right towards the end of the process, you're gonna go ahead and just add some spinach, okay? And it's gonna wilt up real nice, and we'll get that mixed in there real good. It just brings a, a nice, you know, it's just a little bit of greenery to the scenery, you know? Nothing like, you know, super crazy, like flavor wise. We're gonna mix that spinach in. I put it on the top just for a little bit to let the steam 
from everything rise and kind of get up in there and really wilt the spinach before I mix it in. And as you can see, now the spinach is nice and wilted. It just adds a little tiny bit. We'll add the uh, green onions at the end and we're just about to add the cream cheese. Just so close, the, the noodles just, just aren't quite there yet. They're not exactly where I want them to be. So now we are good to add the cream cheese and we're gonna add it kind of just in chunks a little bit here and you can substitute in some uh, heavy cream if you can't do cream cheese. Um, anything to just kind of thicken up the sauce. All right, just gonna add this in. And then once we have it in a couple different spots and mix it in. And this will give that broth that you have at the, at the bottom of your bowl, it'll give it a nice creamy texture. All right, you can see how this really starts to take shape and it starts to become nice and creamy. All right, and you could just add more and more as you seem fit. This is the kind of consistency that you'll want. Listen to this, some ASMR stuff. All right, guys, so we're all done. We added the green onion at the end, you know, just raw green onion, added it at the end. This is how it looks, all right, guys? All right, guys, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in more videos like this, you can check it out right here. This right here is the video of how I lost 15 pounds in the last month and also another great recipe, probably better than this one if I'm being perfectly honest. This is all of the financial education videos that I have that go through the stock market and how to save money and how to you know, make your paycheck do different things automatically. And also, guys, you want to stick around for this, but this right here, this is the first giveaway. So guys, make sure that you're paying attention. All right. I'll see you later.